Hello folks and welcome to the French Open Style Watch presented by The Slice. Clearly I'm very fashionable and I'm very knowledgeable on what is cool and what is not. So I'm about to give you my opinion on the looks of the French Open, what's hot, what's not, and uh, what I think is the best outfit that's been shown so far at the French Open this year. So welcome to The Slice's French Open Style Watch. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Well, I don't know who that guy was, uh, but he had some pretty interesting style. And there's also some pretty interesting styles being shown so far at the French Open this year. So we're going to get into those. Uh, if you can see me here, I'm wearing one of the Slice's original Ringer t-shirts we put out last year. And on that note, we are going to be putting out some new t-shirts coming here very soon that you guys can buy. Uh, and I'd love to see you guys uh, jump on board with them. So I'm going to throw out some styles there in the next little bit on our community page. And you could vote for maybe which ones you guys would like to see. So that's all to come. But what have we seen so far in the French Open as far as style going? Right off the top, we're going to start with the big man himself, Roger Federer, going in on him with this Uniqlo kit. Yes, it looks like a filing cabinet. Yes, he looks like a UPS delivery man. Yes, it could be like tile from the 70s. But Roger Federer is probably the stylish, most stylish man on planet Earth. And he even he can make it look cool. So that's what the outfit looks like. And this is what he looks like wearing it. Absolutely gangster. I mean, he just looks cool. And uh, people are still going to buy that outfit, even though they're wearing like like some type of like mahogany brown. I don't know. Like, it looks like a manila envelope. I don't know. But it still looks cool when he's wearing it. So I would give that like a B plus outfit on that uh, just because it's unique. We haven't seen brown really come out. I was literally thinking of that. I was like, when is the last time we've seen a brown outfit on the tennis tour? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys could figure that out and uh, let me know. I'm sure you will. But as far as Uniqlo goes, Nishikori's outfit is completely whack, I think. It looks like those colorful licorice things. Like Nishikori always just gets absolutely bent when it comes to outfits because they're giving Federer the sickest stuff. And then Nishikori just gets whatever's left over, which seems to be all the bright colors left in the factory. I don't know, but pretty interesting stuff coming from Uniqlo. Now, Rafael Nadal, uh, very bright classic look kind of coming from Nike, pretty routine. If you look back at all his French Open victories, all 11 of them, he's always wearing some type of a bright colored shirt, it seems like. Went with the sleeves this year, no cutoff. Um, I will be getting a cutoff soon from Gold Wolf, um, but that'll be not the French Open because he's not wearing a cutoff this year. But what the main thing that we should talk about are his shoes. These are kind of like, they have like this wrapped canvas on them and they look pretty, they're very interesting. I would say pretty sick. And I'm sure they're going to look real sick when we see him wearing them on court because, uh, he makes a lot of things look cool. And I would seriously cop those. So I would say if you're going to give Rafa's outfit look a grade, I would say like another B plus, uh, pretty conservative with that, but more of like an A minus with the shoes. Pretty sweet, I think. Uh, next up, we got Nike Court. So the Nike Court outfits basically for all the Nike athletes that aren't Rafael Nadal now, now that Federer is left. But I would say these outfits are... I, at the beginning, when I first saw them, I was like, nah, these are whack. They're doing too much again. But I've been looking more and more at the black and white outfits, and they're just sick, I think. Like, look at R Grigor Dimitrov. He looks like a knight from I don't know where. But he's wearing the black and the white. Just looks clean, nice, detailed. I would totally cop this. I think that the little French details are really cool. Uh, the women's looks as well. Uh, black top, white skirt, looking great. Black everything, like this like, kind of like, crop top thing, it looks sick, I think. But uh, my only question is, wouldn't that get like really hot? Is it that hot right now in France? I don't know. Is anyone there? Let me know. But I think Nike Court is crushing it with these looks right now. And I've heard a lot of people say the same. The more colorful outfit they ha that they have right there, I'm not so sure about. But it looks like it's a bit tacky. But uh, the black and the white, absolutely fresh. Uh, you know, Someone had a similar idea when they were making their clothes. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. But we're just like on the same wavelength there with that one. And then we got Adidas coming back at us again with some pretty boring, pretty safe uh, fits. But they're pretty clean. We saw Stefano Tsitsipas wearing his today. Looks pretty great in his win. Uh, Alexander Zverev, 
it's clean again, nothing special. They're not doing anything new there uh, over at Adidas. And the same with Team's outfit. I'd say it's pretty boring, so I'd give them about, I don't know, let's say a C plus, B minus. D depends like what you're looking for. Are you looking to not get really noticed? Then buy this Adidas outfit. Um, we've had And we've seen Yonex come out with their outfit with Stan Ravinka going to be wearing it. That looks pretty good. I said, again, keeping it simple is always key. That's why I like the Nike uh, core outfits as much because they kept it pretty simple with classic colorways, but they had some little details in there, which was pretty sick. Uh, we've seen some other Fila looks. The, on the women's side, Fila looks actually pretty cool. They got a black and white pattern one. They like straight away from their normal, normal off-colored weird like teals and pinks. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, they look pretty good, but not too many other mentionable outfits stuck with the big boys this time. If I had to say my best fit from the French Open so far, you could probably guess it, Nike Court. They've been crushing it. They've had some weird performances in the last few years with outfits and styles and colors. But this year at the French Open, I think Nike Court is crushing it. And their athletes are looking absolutely swagged out. So that is the French Open style watch from the Slice. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the Slice for lots more coverage coming from the French Open. And if you haven't seen it yet, check out our French Open draw or preview with the draw reaction to the men's draw. It's up. It's live. You can probably click on a card right here to go watch it now. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you very soon with more French Open coverage from The Slice. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You guys are the best. If you want to become a better tennis fan, make sure you obviously subscribe by clicking down here. Click here to check out The Slice Front Row, which is our show that happens every second week on Patreon, where you can pay only $4 a month to help The Slice grow, get bigger, go to more tournaments. But also you can be way more involved in that show by choosing the topic of the show and uh, having your questions answered on the show. And if you spend an extra $10 a month to get the to be a premium member, you get a t-shirt, whatever ones we're pumping out at the time, sent to you for free. So thanks guys, click right here to check that out.